What's up guys? Welcome back to Scomp Garage. Got another little uh, do it yourself here. Today we have a 2005 Cadillac Escalade ESV 6.0 liter. Uh, we are doing an oil change on this one, uh, which shouldn't be too bad. All right, so for today's filter and oil, I'm going with Mobile One. Extended performance. Uh, the car has 150,000 miles on, I believe. Um, M1 107A is the filter number for for that, and you need about six quarts of oil. All right, here. Let's go ahead and start by opening the the cap. All right. Pull the dipstick a little bit out. Let's go under the car. So I did warm up the car for about 15 minutes, uh, which should give us better oil flow coming from coming from it. When you take out the drain plug. All right. So if I can hold the camera steady. All right. So the drain plug which happens to be right here. If you're coming from the passenger side from here, it'll be straight here, right under the transmission. Same thing if you're coming from the driver's side, but I came straight directly from the front. So, really can't miss it, it's kind of obvious. And uh, luckily the filter is right next to it, so we're good. Okay, so this drain plug, man. All right, so this drain plug, the bolt itself is a 15 millimeter. Yep, my socket right here. Oh man, it's tight. Hopefully I got my drain pan in the right spot. Okay. Now you want to be careful because it is pretty hot. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as you can see, it's still dripping a little bit. I'll let that drip a little bit more. But in the meantime, we'll go ahead and take out this filter. Um, judging from the way it's sitting under this panel right here, it's gonna drip all over this panel. So I went ahead and put some paper towels, laid it up there so that it'll drip on that. And hopefully I put the oil pan under the right spot this time. Let's get this out. So I'm going to be using this oil filter remover uh, that I bought uh, not too long ago. It's actually very useful. It, it catches it pretty well. And I'm using an extension because it's pretty far in there. All right, so honestly, this is not my car. And this filter is not even on tight at all. Look at this. It's just crazy. Go ahead and get this filter out. Let's just go ahead and fill it with oil for a little, a little bit. Put some fresh oil on the gasket around it too to make it easier to go in. Okay, it looks like it's 
the dripping starting to cease. Let's go ahead and install our drain bolt back in. And we'll go ahead and install our filter too. All right. Kind of hard with one hand. Hopefully, it go in. There we go. Yeah, slippery. Just want to get it like hand tight as far as you can. Just about as far as I can right here. I'm actually gonna to torque the uh, drain bolt to 18 foot pounds and the filter itself to 21, 22 foot pounds. As you can see, I got my torque wrench here. And it is set to 18 foot pounds. We'll go ahead and torque this. Drain bolt. All right, so I did torque this filter to 22 foot pounds. I did not show it. I had to do it off camera because I needed two hands to hold the um, the oil. What's it, what's it called? The uh, the the tool that that takes the, the filter on and off. So I had to use that while holding the extension and the torque wrench at the same time. And it was kind of a hassle because there was like no space in between here to do it. So, but I did manage to get it and it's nice and snug in there. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but you'll need 5W30 and total of six quarts for this car. All right, so you want to make sure that your level is this five, this five dots, one, two, three, four, five. You want to make sure your level is right, uh, just right in between the, the four and the five. Uh, looks like we're right at the five, just a, a tad bit, but that'll be okay. All right, guys, so in order to reset the maintenance light, I've already done it earlier, so and it does work. So I'm gonna show you guys here. Have your key into the on position. Right? And your gas pedal, you wanna pump it three times within five seconds. So one, two, three. All right. And then turn the car over. What happened is that um, your maintenance light that's, that'll be flashing right here in the corner, it will flash five times and then it will go away and then you have reset your maintenance light. And that's how you do it. Hey, I hope you guys like what you see there. Uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, comment below. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and consider uh, subscribing. 
And uh, until until then, I see you guys next time.